Hello there, everybody. I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000 k Welcome to Let's Play Sonic Adventure Part 1. Alright. I am taking a break from Resident Evil 4 Remake, folks. So, yeah. Right now, I'm doing a Let's Play because I love Sonic. In other words, this game came out in 1999. On the Dreamcast. But in the... This is the Xbox Live version. So let's do it. We're gonna go into adventure mode and play as Sonic the Hedgehog, our main hero. All right, LB and RB lets you rotate the camera. X and B, spin dash, A button, jump, and attack. Left stick, maneuver character. Homing attack, press A and mid jump. Homing attack directed at the nearest enemy. Other actions, X and B, Pick up, put down, throw, put down when stopped, throw when moving, shake, press and hold X and B, plus left stick. Stage is cleared when Sonic destroys capsules. Those capsules that Dr. Robotnik created, so full of bad guys. Well, not full of bad guys, but full of flickies, including a rabbit, bird, parrots, kangaroo, seals, penguins, otters, moles, and all that other stuff. Sometimes an object other than a castle may be used. Okay, we're heading to Station Square. Wow, Sonic just saw a weird looking mysterious monster that is liquid and bulletproof. So this is Chaos Zero, folks. Easy boss battle. So that means, so we're gonna have to Homing attack onto his brain. He's going to do a spinning attack, a spin attack on you. And he's going to jump on these lampposts to attack you. Well, he's going to use his arms to punch you. He's going to jump around. And Sonic is voiced by Ryan Drummond in this game. But yes. You see our main villain, Dr. Robotnik, saying, That's chaos! And then the next day, Sonic was relaxing on the pool until Tails, who was flying on the tornado, literally just crashed into the beach. So that means we are going to go to Emerald Coast, folks. We're going to rescue Tails. And these badniks are the enemies of Sonic. When you kill a badnik, a flicky shows up, including a rabbit. Well, these monkey badniks throw bombs at you, so be careful of them. Okay, those flickies, those animals were made for giving, raising chow. Yeah, these rings are are like your health. When you get hit by enemies, you lose all your rings. But if you take a hit by enemies without your rings, you're dead. You lose a life. You know, Sonic cannot swim because it doesn't matter how many health you got. This water will count as a bottomless pit. So do not go into the friggin' water. Otherwise, you'll drown. And... Stay away from those spikes. If you hold the X button, you're going to do a, uh, well, uh, a roll. You're going to roll. And you can see these orca whales just flying around. And when you, hit, when you touch a checkpoint, it'll show you the time. But if you fall down, if you die, you'll start from the checkpoint with zero rings. Okay, what we got is penguins, rabbits, seals, otters. Let's see, what else are there besides seals and otters? Yeah, yeah those green ones are for speed. Well, for the most part, they are for speed. And the blue, yellow ones for swimming. The blue one, very, various types. And the pink one is power. 
Okay, when you pick up the shoe, you speed up. You have a theme song for this game. The main theme in the opening is called Open Your Heart by Crush 40. This is one of the best songs ever. Have you all realized that Sonic is really an awesome character? And he's definitely my favorite. I love this game. To beat this game, you need to you need to complete all of the characters in order to proceed to the last story. Yeah, I have to mention these jump panels. You have to press A very quickly. Okay, we're on our way to see Tails. Booyah! We did it! When you complete level C for the first time, you earn an emblem. Tails just got the purple Chaos Emerald. So that means we're going to have to get to Tails' workshop at the Mystic Ruins. By heading to the train station. Look at these red hint balls. We gotta take the train to the Mystic Ruins. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Get to Mystic Ruins. You can also talk to these people. No, it's not Final Fantasy. This is Sonic Adventure. Alright, it's time to head to the workshop so that we could... We could go and see Dr. Robotnik. We got a boss battle, folks. Dr. Robotnik just spilled the Egg Hornet. Why is he threatening Sonic to give him the purple Chaos Emeralds? Why does he want the, with the Chaos Emerald anyway? Watch out for these, these missiles that Robotnik fires. He just called, Sonic just called Robotnik Eggman. When he uses these spikes, if he's stuck to the ground, Hit Dr. Robotnik in the cockpit. This is one of the second boss battles that we have to do. Yeah, there are emblems in most fields, but I'm not going to get all these emblems. Come on! That's a way. That's the way to hit him. But basically, if he gets stuck in the ground, we're going to hit him one more time. Take that, Dr. Robotnik. You're toast. Yep, all his parts are broken down and they split into five. Oh my god, Robotnik just stole the purple Chaos Emerald and he gave it to Chaos Zero so that he becomes Chaos One. When you... When Every time Robotnik gives Chaos an emerald, Chaos gets transforms and he gets even stronger. And then again, he just got the Windstone. Okay, so that means we're going to have to find one of the other emeralds. Hey, that shiny mark on your stone. It looks like, the, like just like the mark on the plate I found in the cave. Is it possible? Could it be? <coughs> oh, God. Okay, we're going to place this key in here so that it will float and go in there. That means we're going to go fly up. Whee! And we're heading to Windy Valley. You got to get the blue Chaos Emeralds. Oh, those blue bandits are called Leons. They turn invisible. But these flickies, they're birds. All we got to do is hit that caterpillar batnik. The purple flickies, well, purple background means flight. It's for the chow, so that it will make him fly faster and stronger. Wind's making an invisible path. Do not be afraid, Sonic. Yeah, these trampolines, you, 
that those trampolines will make you jump higher, like three times. Well, even higher. Jump over the broken bridge and do a spin dash to get this extra life. Ha ha! We're going into the twister, the tornado. And you can see Tails following you. We gotta hit, we gotta be able to get out of that tornado. Now get on the jump panel. We know, we know. The, the red hint ball, I, I don't know her name, but she's very mysterious. Yes, when we're out of there, we're heading to another area. Part of Windy Valley, the third act of Windy Valley. Okay. You know what this song reminded me of? The one from Sonic 3D Blast. Right. And we gotta head on to that rocket. Well, that that launch pad thing, so they will lead you to another area. As I remembered, one of my favorite YouTubers like Clement J64 has played a lot of Sonic games. He played Sonic Adventure. He was really awesome. You know. And, yeah. Also, when you pick up this uh, blue shield, this will make you pick up rings. It's like a magnet. When you get hit, you lose the shield. If the green shield doesn't let you pick up rings, it's just so that it could protect Sonic in the, well, two hits. Well, probably three hits. Depends on how many rings you got. We're almost there. Yay. Chaos Emerald. Excellent day. Okay. Now we're going to head back to Station Square. Why does Chaos want to destroy Station Square? Was it, was it so that Eggman can build a city called Eggman Land? Oh, wow. We're going to head to Station Square so that we can find another one of the Chaos Emeralds. We got to head to the sewers in Station Square. Let's jump in there. There's a blocked path. So that's why we're going to have to jump onto that rail. And what do we get? This is the power-up called. This is the light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store power. If you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. Light speed dash lets you race towards rings at light speed. As long as there are a trail of rings, you have to you can go just about anywhere. So when you press a switch, a trail of rings appears. So we're gonna have to hold the X or B button. If you let go of it, he will Sonic will say, Go. Well when you when you're doing a full light speed dash, Sonic will say, Ready and release the X button and go. That golden egg. That's a chow egg. We're not going to be doing the Chow Garden right now, but I might have to show it off in the extras, right? And now that Station Square's nighttime, we're going to go to the casino. But before we go to the casino, I'm going to get a light speed upgrade. You gotta make sure that this door
stays open and we're gonna go in there and we get another upgrade that bracelet this is the crystal ring this reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash yep this reduces time for the light speed dash <laughs> I can't believe Sonic's got crystal light blue that's weird when he's doing the light speed dash. So I'm going to charge up my light speed dash. And press that switch. Let go of the X button to hit the switch to Casino Office and we're in there. There's a white chaos emerald that we got to find. This is a casino level. So this is a Sonic Pinball. This also reminds me of Sonic, Sonic Spinball. A long time ago. Well, you had to fight Robotnik and these cluckers. You gotta find these emeralds. These slot machines. Yeah. If you do not have 100 or 50 rings, they will lead you to the sewers. To the garbage... Well, the... Uh, well, actually, the sewers, the garbage disposal, whatever it is. When you get three Dr. Eggmans, you're going to lose a lot of rings. If you get three Knuckles and, and three Sonics or three Tails in a row, you will get more rings. Well, for the most part, you might get rings. Now, this area leads to the sewers. There, we got Flying Badniks. These spinners, some of them use electricity. This bomb capsule will let you destroy all badniks. Oh, we're going to go into this van and we. Oh, you get a lot of rings. So you better be careful of these giant spike balls. You need to collect a lot of rings. A lot and lots of friggin' rings. So when you do Mission B on Sonic Story, you have to collect 50 rings. And if you do Mission A, you've got to reach the goal in less than a, the time, what the time says. But in, uh, in the first level, Emerald Coast, you got to do less than two minutes. But in this one, you got to do it in less than five minutes. And this flower is the invincibility. It'll make you invincible for 10 seconds. We're going to climb up this ladder. This will lead you to the bathroom. Look at all the showers. Let's see what Sonic does. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Sonic is just showering. <laughs> oh, wow. That is hilarious. And there's also rings here. We're going to go to the other s pinball area called Card and Pinball. What does this lead you to? This leads you to Knights. Oh my god, Knights. That's one of the Sega games. I never even played Knights on the Wii or on Xbox 360. But this is an old Dreamcast game. Where you had to do tricks and collect pearls. But you know, it's about dream, children's dreams, right? As I remember, Tails is voiced by Cory Bringus in this one. Whoa, that's weird. Sonic had to fall in there? Okay, when you get a lot of cards, matching cards, you get a lot of rings. It depends on how many rings you got. Technically, I'm definitely not going to get all emblems. Because it would be real hard. And a pain. When you hit one of these uh, jackpots, whatever these are, those slot machines, you get a load of rings. Well, some rings. Before they disappear. Shower room, you can wash yourself. 
we need to get enough rings so that we can get the Chaos Emerald. Oh, at least we got the blue Chaos Emerald for now. Okay, this is a... This, you get three Sonics in a row. The classic Sonic, you get Speedball. Whoa, you do get a load of rings. When you get three stars in a row, that means you get a lot of rings. Okay. Now we're going to go in there and deposit our rings. This is the vault. Jump on the switch to deposit your rings. You got to deposit as much rings as you can. It may help. It'll help show you the way. You actually do need to get 300 rings so that it will lead you to the White Chaos Emerald. And we got ourselves a blue stone tablet. And when we got out of the casino, Eggman shows up and puts Sonic to sleep. And we lost the white Chaos Emeralds. And you can see Cream the Rabbit flying. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, Cream the Rabbit does appear in this one. He also She also appears in Sonic Advance. Yeah, Cream the Rabbit, she flies with her ears. And she has a chow partner named Cheese. Yeah, Cream also appears in Sonic Heroes as part of the Team Rose. She also appeared in Shadow the Hedgehog in Cryptic Castle where Shadow has to rescue Cream and her buddy Cheese. Well, a mission from Amy Rose on the hero side. And Cream also appears in Sonic Riders and Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. She also appeared in Sonic and the Secret Rings. And in other words, when we when we head back to uh, Mystic Ruins, the the secret passage, just the boulder just broke. So that means we're gonna go in there and and, and head to Ice Caps. Yeah. Also, Cream did appear in Sonic Generations and Mario vs. Sonic in the Olympics series. You put the stone, the ice stone tablet in, the ice door opens, which leads to ice cap. If Sonic stays underwater for too long, timer will appear. If the timer runs out, that's instant death, no matter how many rings you got. But yeah, though. No. Ice cap, action stage. We gotta get the green chaos emeralds, the first chaos emerald. When you get frozen, you gotta jump a couple of times, and you'll be able to break through. This ice badnik takes two hits, and we got a gorilla, uh, flicky. The gorilla flicky counts for strength, for the chow. The green one is speed, purple flight, yellow swim, and blue uh, on all stats. Yeah, when you give chow nuts like fruit. It'll increase their stamina. You don't want to be abusive to your chow, you know. Oh wow, the camera just got so weird. <laughs> also, we're going to use our light speed dash. Light dash. We got we to gotta break down this uh, giant icicle. Yo, avoid these spikes coming from the ceiling. And I just got hit by the spikes down there. Definitely be careful of that. Those capsules are very important. It also carries rings, shields, bombs, invincibility, and speed up. Come on, Sonic. Just jump on this stupid bouncing thing. Come on, jump up there and cut. pick up that icicle.
you gotta be careful not to fall off. You gotta, we gotta walk on this ice cube bridge before it disappears. And there's a drawbridge. You gotta jump on these panels to hit the ice, the icicle, so that it will create a platform and the drawbridge opens. In another area, we're gonna be going on a snowboarding. Whoa! It's an avalanche! Okay, this avalanche one is really fun. It's kind of annoying to me, but you cannot die. Uh, even if you get hit by an avalanche, you can't die. But I imagine if Sonic gets hit by an avalanche, he would die instantly. That would not be good. You can also run into icicles. You don't lose rings. When you jump on these slopes, you will do awesome tricks. This also reminded me of Sonic Adventure 2, where Sonic had to use the, use the plane hatch as a, a skateboard, which is kind of awesome. No wonder why Sonic had been caught captured by gun. It was, it was as if he was framed by Shadow. Shadow framed Sonic for stealing a Chaos Emerald. Who would, who would ever want to frame Sonic and steal a Chaos Emerald? This was before Shadow. That was in Sonic Adventure 2. City Escape. When you use that uh, skateboard thing, that airplane door as a skateboard. And when you get off it later, you will run into Oma Chow. Well, Oma Chow is pretty annoying, you know. He just gives you hints. Whatever. Whoa! Way to go, Sonic! You just fell into the friggin'. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We can see some hot air balloons all over the place. When we get this green emerald, done. We're done. Yeah, in Tails' story, you will be racing against Sonic and Robotnik. After after Ice Cap, we're 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 gonna go to the Mystic Ruins right now. Let's see who we're gonna run into right now. Our good or our good buddy Knuckles. Okay, this Knuckles battle is going to be easy. Easy. You got to hit him like three times. Yeah, when you hit him three times, it's over. And wow, those two Chaos symbols drop, and Eggman snatched them and gave them to Chaos so that he turns into Chaos Number Four. This, we got ourselves a boss battle. I mean, Knuckles has been tricked by Eggman. Okay, when his brain's exposed, you gotta hit it. Now's your chance to hit him. You gotta jump on the lily pads. If you stay on that water, you're gonna lose ring. You're gonna lose all your rings. Chaos will use his uh, shockwave attack. Yeah, Chaos will split into four. So watch out for the liquid that he does. You need to you need to jump onto a, to another lily pad. Oh my God, chaos just turns into a sh freaking shark. Well, not a shark, but an angler f angler fish like creature. And chaos's first form, he turns into a giant chaos. In his third form, he turns into this brutish looking chaos. If he becomes, uh, if he takes. It's all seven, you will become perfect. Come on. All he does is you got all you gotta do is hit him like five times. I mean I can't believe Knuckles mistake the green chaos emerald for a, for the piece of the master emerald. So when you play as Knuckles, you have to collect all three pieces of the master emerald. To clear the levels. 
In other words, Knuckles is a treasure hunter. The red echidna. Yeah, he also first appears in Sonic 3 in Knuckles. But I did remember watching Sonic X cracking Knuckles. In other words, Chaos will also do a red shockwave attack. So be careful of him. I remember watching, so as I was saying, I remember watching Sonic X cracking Knuckles when Sonic fought against Knuckles. Ordered by Eggman. I like the infamous line that Knuckles says, like, SHUT UP! Well, fans like when he says shut up and when you beat chaos zero chaos four yeah next one he was eggman will summon the egg carrier okay so that means we are going to go to the egg we have to go on to the egg carrier by going on to tails's airplane let's talk to knuckles what's the matter what are you waiting for yeah, Knuckles is a real hothead for the most part. He was in Sonic X. My favorite line is, Shut up! Give me the emerald you stole, or else. And Knuckles, by the way, is in this game, he is voiced by Michael McGahorn. But when we go to Tails' workshop, he's going to summon the first tornado. And Tails' theme is called Believe in Myself. And Sonic's theme is, it doesn't matter now what happens, I will never give up the fight. So yeah, we have to, when we're in Tails' plane mission, we gotta be shooting all of these uh, badniks from the sky. If the tornado runs out of health, you lose a life. Not cool. So we gotta be firing homing torpedoes in order to reach the highest score. This one depends on how many scores you got. This is a sub-mission game. A sub-level, if you ask me. We're, we're gonna reach the egg carrier. I did remember in, the, in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, when Knuckles just ambushed Sonic. So that... He just ambushed Sonic by making him drop all the seven emeralds, and Knuckles took them all. I can't believe Knuckles was being tricked by Dr. Eggman. Oh, Lord. And, in other words, I remember in Sonic X when Sonic just insulted Knuckles by saying, But if you'd rather get clobbered by me, and he goes, Shut up! Give me the emerald you stole, or else... And Sonic's like, your brain is smaller than your feet. It just made Knuckles even more angrier and picked a fight with him. And Knuckles went like, get back here, you quitter. We'll settle this later. In Sonic X, you can see Chris Thorndike. He's the human young man. He's the young man who, wants, who just first found Sonic in a swimming pool. But yeah. You know. In Sonic X, Sonic was voiced by Jason Griffith. In Tails, Amy Pallant, and Knuckles was voiced by Dan Green in the anime. I have watched Sonic X for the most part. I watched it on the CW for kids with my mom for the first time. But yeah. Anyway, the egg carrier will charge a big giant laser and it just and it just fired part of Tails' wing. The right side of the wing. And we crashing! Whoa! And Sonic just landed onto We're back at Station Square once again. Yeah, that's right. We're heading. We're in Station Square this time, and we're gonna have to go to the Casino office. And guess who we're running into? Amy and her birdie. <laughs> Why does Sonic want to uh, protect the bird from Zero? That big giant badnik, that green badnik that wants the emerald. Oh my God. 
Okay, folks, we're going to be heading to Twinkle Park. Oh, <coughs> man. Yeah, Amy Rose is voiced by Jennifer Dilliard. Yep. In this one. But in the Sonic X anime, she was voiced by Lisa Ortiz. Okay, in Twinkle Park, we're going to be fighting off these badniks and riding on those race carts. These weird-looking bumper cars. Yeah, definitely do not get hit. Because if you lose all your rings, if you take another hit, the bumper cart will break and then you're going to die. It's not cool. Yeah, definitely do not run into these uh, badniks. If you, it depends on how fast you are. Depending on how fast you are. When you're slow, they'll bump into you and you're going to lose all your rings. Definitely watch out for the for the badniks. These badniks are called coconuts. Yeah, you remember coconuts from Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog? Great cartoon. Yeah, it was a that show came out before I was born. Yeah, the main villains were Doctor Robotnik and Scratch and Grounder and Coconuts. Come on, get out of my way, you stupid badniks! I remember in every episode they do, Sonic says, and they're talking to the audience about how important it is, like, I like when Sonic's like, that's no good. Kind of like that line, you know. <laughs> but yeah. What is your favorite badnik in Sonic in... Uh, if you have to go with, uh, let's see here, Zero, that would be cool. No, Zero, that, not Zero from Mega Man X, that different Zero, the uh, Badnik, the green Badnik that wants to chase Amy. When you play as Amy, you got to head to the balloon before Zero captures you, captures Amy, right? In this area, we're in Twinkle Park, we're going to be doing bowling. You get a strike, you get a, you get a crap load of rings. Watch out for these bouncy looking badniks. You gotta attack the brain. Always the brain, not the rubber thing. Look, a pond skater badnik. No, we got deers, gorillas, and kangaroos, parrots. Let's see here, swallow birds, and uh, what else? And we got elephants. Yeah, the elephants are a power type. That they are. Oh my god, so many rings. And yeah, the blue one, you got a koala. And there's also a mole, and also, oh, what else is there besides the mole? And there are also f animals in Sonic Adventure 2 and Chaos Drives. And watch out for these giant bombs, they're gonna make you lose all of your rings. Unfortunately, let's go back and uh, get on this bouncy thing. An elephant! Yeah, these elephants are definitely strength. That And there's also lions. There's also a lion flicky. That was, this one is before Sonic Shuffle. You know, Sonic Shuffle is a party game where you play as Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and Amy, and with Big or Super Sonic. You gotta get the capsule to rescue those animals. That's on top of that castle. And look at these, these canoe cruise thing. Wow, i never even seen such a thing before. But come on, you ride on these roller coasters? You know, this kind of reminds me of Walt Disney World, you know? 
but I digress. So once again, we have to get that, we got to kill that annoying friggin, oh come on, kill that annoying bouncy thing, it's not a, jeez. No, never mind, just jump on that capsule, I don't care. Now we're getting somewhere. It is now dark time and can't believe we lost Amy. But let's go to the Twinkle Circuit anyways. This is a sub game. You gotta, this is like an obstacle course where you can race against time. Or you can race to the finishing line with three laps. This also kind of reminds me of Sonic Drift or Sonic R. You know the main theme song of Sonic R is Everybody Super Sonic Racing Trying to keep feet right on the ground When you're Super Sonic Racing There's no time to look around If you're Super Sonic Racing Run into the point of road return Everybody Super Sonic Racing Come on and let the fire flow Everybody, 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 everybody super sonic racing and trying to keep your feet right on the ground when you're super sonic racing, running to the point of no return. Everybody super sonic racing and uh, there's no time to look around. Everybody suit when you're super sonic racing. Come on, let the fire flow burn. Burn. <laughs> and this, this is a really great game. You can also, you have to collect all the sonic coins. You got to race against the badniks. They include Mecha Knuckles and uh, Metal Sonic. You got to unlock Super Sonic by collecting all of the emeralds. Those songs are called Can You Feel the Sunshine and Pump It Up. Great song. But you know, as I mentioned, Jun Sonoy really did great at doing music composer of this game. The Emerald Coast theme and the Twinkle Circuit theme. But yeah, done. When we're out of Twinkle Park, we got to, oh, look at this weird looking, this card looking thing. Also reminds you of, in the mission, this looks like a mission card. So that means we got to find one of them, pick it up. An employee card. I can use this to get into that building. You'll be getting to Cyber Network Inc. CyberNet Incorporated. And this will lead you to... Speed Highway. This is an action stage for your people. You gotta destroy the capsule and rescue all the animals. This one reminded me of Sonic Generations. That was part of Sonic Generations. <laughs> oh, did I just went the other wrong way? Oh my god. Didn't mean to do that. I was gonna jump on those platforms. You did play as the classic and modern Sonic in Sonic Generations, so that you, you gotta clear both acts so that you can rescue Cream the Rabbit. You gotta jump on, run on these buildings and get that uh, speed up shoes. This is, looks like a nighttime or sunset or dawn if you ask me. Basically, I did remember playing Sonic, Sonic Generations where you had to find all these red star rings. That was a bit annoying and frustrating, but I got all of them. Hey, did you know that I did a playthrough of, of Sonic Generations? It was really fun. Yeah, Cream the Rabbit 
all, all she does is fly with her ears. In Sonic Heroes, she's a flight type. She, oh, she, when she's alone, she'll order her, her chow cheese to attack enemies. But yeah. Oh, we gotta attack these flappers. And we got another extra life. And we got cop bad mix. Those cop speeders. Bad mix. Oh wow, this is one of the best parts. You're gonna be running down on top of that building. You speeding yourself up and do not run into these obstacles. They'll slow you down. And also don't run into these pillars. They slow you down. Well, literally, they do slow you down. Can we escape? Look, looks like it's dawn. Oh, you do gotta watch out for cars, because you, you when you get hit by cars, you lose all your rings. Hey, did anybody realize they made, they also did a crazy taxi after Sonic? I, I heard. It was really fun. It's like an arcade game where you have to t have, have fun doing stunts, stunt driving and stuff. And also, we gotta jump onto this fountain so that it will lead you to the bell. Oh, look! When you ring a bell, rings drop. No, oh, that's weird. Rings didn't drop. Now we head to the capsule. This game came out before Shenmue. In, in, did you know that Shinmu is also made by Sega? And it was before Yakuza. And Pour Your Pop Fever. Back at Station Square, folks. In the morning. I can't believe we lost Amy, literally. Well, basically we did lose Amy. And you see two guards guarding Station Square because it's totally closed. Now we gotta head back to the casino. Oh god, Amy's being taken by Zero. Zero's heading to Mystic Ruins. If anybody on the comments below hears this, why, who would make a badnik called Zero anyway? You know. Yeah, this is the modern Sonic that I'm playing. Oh, wow. Amy's being taken to the egg carrier once again. You gotta get to the mountaintop, folks. But before we head to the mountaintop, there's a power-up that we gotta pick up. There's also power-ups in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle in Sonic Adventure 2. And look, this area leads to Angel Island where the Master Emerald was. Knuckles was guarding the Master Emerald. When we get this light thing, this is a ancient light. You gotta try the light speed dash towards an enemy. With this, I can now do the light speed attack. So that means when you're nearby an enemy, you do a light speed attack. You gotta hold the X or B button and let go of it when you're, when you're nearby an enemy Sonic, so Sonic can kill one of them. The egg carrier. You gotta chase after it, folks. This is a mountain area full of strength animals that includes lions, gorillas, and elephants. And even, they also got Smasis, well, Spike Balls, so avoid those. This is a lava level. Oh, good lord. I was going to get that thing, but who cares? 
There's also a badnik that can that can do a fire wave. Well, a wheel of fire. There's also badniks with uh, spike balls. Three spike balls. I think the Unidasu, whatever they are. Uh, these fire dudes are annoying. You gotta jump around the fire and hit that badnik. So that the fire is extinguished. Yeah, I'm getting real tired. Okay. Why and Amy was taken hostage, sent to the cage. Why what does that birdie want? What does the birdie have inside that pendant? I don't know. Probably a Chaos Emerald or something. Who cares? Watch out for that big hammer. You got... Ow! Jeez, I just took a direct hit after hitting that switch. <laughs> you gotta... You actually gotta use your light speed dash so that it will hit... You gotta charge your... Do a roll attack so that this light can hit the switch. Oh look, there's a zip line. I wonder where it leads to. The underground lava level. We're inside a volcano f with with skulls, with fire skulls, and spiders. Oh lord, I hate spiders. And even bats. I hate bats too. All because of COVID. Yeah, do not touch that lava. You can take damage from it. Watch out for fire coming out of the geyser. Okay. Oh look, they got prisoners in there. I think these are fugitives. Those things look weird. I think they look like those dudes from uh, from Knights as a cameo or an Easter egg, whatever. But I digress. Watch out for the fire-breathing skulls and hammers. These weird-looking hammers. When we use that rocket, we're going to land onto this capsule. Oh wow, we're gonna do another Sky Chase Act 2, just like we did last time. You gotta do homing attacks on these other badniks, flying badniks. Tails just came just in time to get the new tornado too. Oh yeah, in Sonic Adventure 2, you do play as Sonic and Shadow. In in so you do play as Tails and Eggman, and Knuckles and Rouge. But in the multiplayer of Sonic Adventure 2, you do play as Sonic, Amy, Metal Sonic and Shadow. Tails here uh the Chow, and Dark Chow and Dr. Eggman, Knuckles, Rouge, Tikal and Chaos Zero. Chaos Zero is slow, but strong. And uh, Tikal is fast, but weak. Ow! That's... Watch out for these missiles that those cannons fire. Okay, Tails will go into tornado formation number two, so that it will lead, so that it will move faster. You would move fast. Well, even faster and stronger. Oh, 
Oh, watch out for those weird looking spike spitters. Just shoot them. This was before Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Heroes and Sonic Battle and Shadow the Hedgehog. It was before Shadow. And Sonic Pocket Adventure. Ow! Stop, stop firing missiles at me. Those spike bombs. Come on! Don't do that! I, I know Lenny Manella did the train, Station Square train announcer. As I mentioned, Lenny Manella did the voice of Rouge in Oma Chow. We got a boss battle, the egg carrier. We got to make sure that we aim at the center. The center of the egg carrier where he fires a giant laser. Come on. Keep on firing. Yay! We made it. Made it to the egg carrier, but I meant, I know Tails forgot that this area doesn't have a landing gear. So this is the egg carrier. Oh look, these weird looking presents. When you jump onto this landing gear, you, this uh, weird looking thingamajig cannon. And a cutscene just triggered. And Eggman just altered the egg carriers. It altered the shape. Oh my god. We're going to be heading to the sky deck, people. Here we go. Sky deck. Action stage. We only got two more stages left. For the Lost World level. This also reminds you of... You know the Lost World level also reminds you of Sonic Lost World. Where Sonic has to rescue all those flickies from... The Zeddies. That includes Zaz, Xena, Master Zeke, Zor, and Zamam, and Zavok. Zavok is the red Zeddy. Zaz is the, the pink or purple Zeddy. So is that dark violet Zeddy with the purple hair and the he's very gloomy. Xena, she's a green Zeddy. And we also got ch chipmunks. We got moles, koalas, and chipmunks. Or skunks, whatever they are. We gotta grab onto that hook and head to another platform. And jump on those rockets. Hit the bomb get hit that bomb so that it will destroy all of the badniks. Hurry it up. I'm, I'm tired and I want to get to sleep. And when you climb on that ladder, definitely make sure you watch out for those spike balls. Oh, I just got hit by a spike ball. Well, I didn't fall to my death at least. And I got a life. So that's okay. <laughs> And watch out for that that missile that the giant cannon, a part of the egg carrier, fires at you. As I was saying, the Zeddies, like Zomom, he's the orange or yellow Zeddy. He's the fat one. Zavok's the red red uh, Zeddy. He's very cruel and evil. Just wanted to roboticize tails. 
Why does he want to roboticize Sonic or Tails? Okay. When the, when the ship increases speed, you got to hang on to something. Watch out for that big wind. And also watch out for these machine gunners. And those badniks, they got electric shields. It's just so that they could shock you. Come on, don't just, don't get hit by those stupid fire. The big ones fire big giant missiles at you, green missiles. So be careful of these guys. In this area, you better watch out for these uh, airplanes, these Batnik airplanes coming out. And and they and part of that floor, they and the floor falls down. Be careful. Be careful not to fall off. This will lead you to instant death. You gotta make sure that this uh, missile fires the cannon. Destroy a cannon. Aim a rocket into the friggin' center when the cannon's horizontal. Yeah, that's the way. Okay, in this area, we gotta be going onto this elevator and avoid. Oh, just stupid friggin' shield badniks. Electric badnik shields. Those flappers, whatever they are. I hate them with a burning passion. They also remind me of these gun beetles that they use electric shields in Sonic Adventure 2. This is where Sonic has been fighting gun robots and also Batniks and the pirates in the uh, pyramid area. Mm. You know. Come on. Got to make sure that we hit that freaking... Oh, good lord. Look. They're changing directions. Look at Sonic. Oh, my God. Look at Sonic falling down. And they're moving in different directions. Oh, my freaking goodness. Gracious. I can't believe this happened to me. Why are they changing directions? Why is the floor changing directions and, and barrels coming out of the ground? I mean, this is going to be like pulling teeth. Come on, Sonic. Get on the hook. On the freaking hook. Okay, get on to these moving floors. We actually gotta get onto that uh, weird looking ladders. And when we jump on this uh, bridge, why is, the, why is this direction moving? What, who's doing that? You gotta press that switch to make sure that this, this fixes. Well, it, you, when you land on that capsule, we completed the mission. Oh, they changed the they changed directions. Oh, there's also a child garden in Eggman. When you spell Eggman, this leads you to the door. There's no hot shelter in the Sonic level. Only in Amy or Big or oh, guess who we're gonna run into? E one hundred two Gamma. That you that was a bad net created by Doctor Eggman. So yeah, when we defeated Gamma, we unlock him. Why does Sonic want to beat up Gamma? Gamma just saved Amy's life by rescuing her. Well, we had to let Gamma go. But right now, we're gonna have to. Uh, we we 
we got to change the position for the egg carrier so that it will be back to normal. You need to do a spin dash, the throne will move. And once again, this position to the egg carrier has been returned back to normal. We gotta get to the front of the ship and capture Robotnik. This leads to. Hey, look! There's our buddy, Big the Cat! Oh my god, Chaos turned into a big beetle like spite, scorpion spider! So that's Chaos 6. Okay. Robotic will send out freeze bombs. Our chaos will do will suck you up like a vacuum. When he's frozen, attack him. You can't attack his attack him in his normal state. You gotta make sure robotic will, will shoot out ice bombs. You gotta feed it to chaos so that he's frozen and he will take a load of damage. And Chaos is going to use his giant tail to attack you. And watch out for those arms that he... Those spikes that he spits out. When all the spikes comes out, he will hit you with his tail. So watch out. But right now, it's time we kick Chaos's butt. Yeah, those those weird looking those ice robots will freeze you. Be careful of that. Come on. Oh god. Seriously. Did I miss? Come on, Sonic. There we go. Now hit him. Goodbye, Chaos. Now Sonic has to go after Eggman. He just jumped after him and he fell into Mystic Ruins. We can play as Big the Cat. When you play as Big the Cat, you have to fish for Froggy. You have to find Froggy. This is a fishing level you have to do. In the E102 camera, you have to start by doing killing enemies. And when the time runs out, you lose. We're entering Lost World right now. I like the part where Sonic's like, I hate Eggman. Yeah, he does hate Dr. Eggman, because that's Sonic's arch enemy. Yeah, Dr. Eggman is, by the way, voiced by the late Dean Bristow. No. But anyways, in the Lost World, this is a ruins level. You gotta watch out for these fire pillars. Those fire pillars will make you lose rings. Ow! Come on! And look at all the floor full of spikes. And even those neon badniks. Oh, look at that big snake tunnel. And the ring of snakes! You gotta find three switches. If you press that switch, it'll raise the water level. You no, know, Sonic cannot swim. He can't swim at all, because... Sonic is probably a ground type. If he is a Pokemon, he's probably a ground type. You gotta press the red, green, and blue switches so that this door will open. Come on, wait, you stupid snake. You know that snake kind of reminded me of Zatch Bell when she uses where Eshros' ultimate spell called Ground By. A giant snake like rock monster. And Zatch had to use as a care spell on it by destroying it in the process. Alternatively, let's jump on this snake. We better wait until we jump on this 
red switch. You don't want to do anything dangerous. Good. At least I killed that bad Nick. So that's cool. But anyway, you hit this red switch. All right, now that that's out of the way, we're gonna go into this weird looking area. This area, this is Lost World outside. I think I think that's some sort of green fogish or something outside. Okay, in the dark room, you gotta use the mirror to the light to hit the mirrors so that it will light up. Watch out for the fire arrows. And watch out for spikes. Okay, another mirror. Go. Don't fall in the friggin' water. And you can see these blocks moving. You gotta use the light speed ring dash. And this waterfall, you can see Sonic riding on the waterfall. Whoa! With a trail full of rings. And falling there leads to instant death, the water. Watch out for these fire pillars. This area is really dangerous. There's going to be a giant boulder that's going to be chasing after you. And whoa! It just took a direct hit. Did you see that boulder just is a freaking... Whoa! Oh, I was behind that boulder. <laughs> That's weird. But if I take one more hit, boom, I, I would be toast. At least we made it. In this area, we, we better, we gotta make sure that we, we gotta press these switches. To, oh my god, that stupid freaking enemy fire monster just keeps on hitting me. Gotta walk on these glowing block, these tiles, and watch out for spikes. Come on. Okay. Come on. Gotta jump over that pillar. Oh, we jumped. We jumped away from the fire pillars. And that that is true. But keep walking onto these glowing tiles and watch out for the stupid spikes. Oh my god, I just landed into the... I landed back to where I came from. My god. Definitely don't... Okay, piece of advice. Do not jump when they... Do not jump on these tiles. Especially when there's spikes on the ceiling. Yeah, there's also one of the shows that I remember watching, the Sonic shows, like Sonic S-A-T-A-M and Sonic Underground. Yeah, Sonic Underground is including Sonic, Sony, and Manic. And Sonic S-A-T-A-M is with Rotor, and Sally, and Bunny, and Snively Robotnik. Snively is actually the henchman of Robotnik. And there's also that dragon. And and, and Nagus, the wizard, the sorcerer. I remember him. He just turns Dr. Robotnik's head into a different kinds of animals and Snively laughed at him. We made it! And there's also Antoine, 
the coyote. But yeah. So, oh my god, this looks like a flashback of Angel Island being being destroyed. And this female echidna is to call, and, and the other child were attacked. And Tikal's father had to unleash greed and hatred. That was in the past, and he got they got attacked by chaos. Tikal had to steal chaos in the mass mode. But right now, we're going to go after Dr. Robotnik one more time. It's in the secret base. And in this area... Guess who we could see? Yeah, Gamma just came out of the base. And there's Mecha Sonic and Metal Sonic. Yeah, Metal Sonic did appear in Sonic CD. And he was in Sonic Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Heroes. Metal Sonic was the final boss from Sonic Heroes. Well, in the internet it was Neo Metal Sonic. Okay, if all three three lights on, the door opens to the final egg. This is the final level for Sonic, people. You gotta get to the center of the base. Those you gotta destroy all these those traps, those those pink laser traps. And watch out for those spike balls. And watch out for those crane those claws. Watch out for the claws. And we got a new enemy called those badniks that have the ability to capture you with their cranium. When they're captured, they when you're captured, they will chase you. You can hear Sonic say, hey, let go. And we got an egg flyers full of zappy things. In this factory, we better watch out for those spikes. You can see these conveyor belts and watch out for the spike rollers. And look at this weird looking rolling thing. Oh god, this is like a freaking factory. It's, oh, it's making me dizzy. Oh my god. In this area, there's going to be a lot of bottomless pits and platforms. Oh, weird camera. If you fall over there, you'll lead you to your instant death. Wait until the platform is reached there. And you gotta hit those bad next. We got a lot of life. So that's good to know. Yeah, Cory Bring us did a great job doing the voice of Tails in this game. All right, we got to press this switch. You can destroy these badniks. Watch out for the giant hammer. Okay, come on. Come on. Wait until the hammer is out of the way. Then you can jump onto these platforms. Timing is killing me. And well, now we head to this elevator. Weird looking lift. And avoid spikes falling, falling down. Get that checkpoint. And also jump on these other platforms. We're going to jump all the way to the main elevator floor. And get inside that lift. That claw spider like elevator.
Okay, now that we made it, we're going to be running into these pink bat neck things. Those things self-destruct on you, so be careful of those guys. They're very annoying. When you kill them, they don't drop flickies. They spawn infinite numbers of pink bat necks, exploding bat necks. Those things are annoying. I hate them. But we gotta we gotta ride on these fans. And and uh, it is also this one leads you to where you you can also pick up that where you can pick up some items including ring five ring and shield and uh, the speed up shoes. Whoa! When you're falling into the floor, definitely watch out for those spikes. And uh, you gotta get on the flying fans to lead you to another area. And these stupid, annoying freaking spider, these weird looking pink walker, whatever they are, are everywhere. Hey, look. This area leads you to where there's a Tails and Knuckles stall. And look, the camera's killing me. <laughs> and there's also a Sonic doll there. Did you know the Tails doll is creepy? Get away from me. Yeah, the Tails doll did appear in Sonic R. That Tails doll was created by Dr. Robotnik. And we made it. When we go to the center of the base, we are going to face off with Dr. Robotnik. One final time. This is the Egg Viper. It's going to be a very annoying boss battle, ladies and gentlemen. Egg Viper, he's going to be shooting out missiles. He will say, like, get a load of this. Various missiles at you. Stay away from him. When he's saying, see if you can make it through here, Sonic, you gotta hit Dr. Eggman when his face is exposed. And also, he's gonna fire exploding missiles at you, so be careful of that. Yeah, he's, you gotta shoot these uh, yellow, these green pods before, and hit Eggman before he fires a, an electric missile at you. E-102 Gamma and Big were voiced by uh, John St. John. John St. John did the voice of Duke Nukem. But yeah. And Alar Disler did uh, Tikal. Yeah, the red the red ball was revealed to be to call. Yeah, I remember that in Sonic X. Well, in this area, you, Eggman will move forward and shoot missiles at you. And also. Gotta, we gotta hurry up and hit these green pods and hit Eggman right into his face. And, and also, he's gonna use circular blades, platform blades, to, to make you lose rings. So be careful. What are you doing? Come on, Sonic! Jump on the spikes. No, no, jump on that thing and hit Eggman right into his face. Yeah, this was the hardest part. Well, the most annoying part. And Eggman is going to be destroying all those platforms. If he destroys all the platforms, he will lead you to instant death. So be careful. We're going to hit him one more time. And better watch out. Because he's going to be, well, he's going to crash and take you with him. 
you know. Yep, we did it. We beat Sonic's story this time. You can see Dr. Eggman, Egg Viper's head spinning around, trying to hit you. Watch out! Oh! No! God! Ugh! Now we're gonna have to try this again. Yeah, he, he took you with him. All thanks to you, Dr. Eggman, you, you idiot. You just screwed me up. <laughs> now I have to hurry this up again. You actually need to spin around. Well, you have to do a rolling. You probably need to do rolling. It's not that hard, you know. Ah, stupid exploded blazers. This is an annoying boss battle, if you ask me. <sighs> See, that's what happens when I didn't pay attention. Well, I didn't even beat Sonic's story yet, but I'm about to. And yes, better watch out for those friggin' lasers that he fires. Now let's try this one again. Two more hits and goodbye Robotnik. But watch out when he takes before he takes you with him. Almost there. Just hit him one last time. And this time try again. Yay! He made it, at least. <laughs> he just exploded into everything. Blood Eggman just escaped from it. That's the end of Sonic Story, folks. Yeah, you do see the credits. That's unskippable. And the theme song is called It Doesn't Matter. And I, and I enjoy this playthrough as much. This is the GameCube version credits. But yeah. And after the credits, I will end this. I will, I will, I will end this part because I need to wrap this up. I like the theme song when they go, "It doesn't matter now what happens. I will never give up the fight. There is no way I will run away from out of my breath." Long as the voice inside me is will, I will always keep on running. There is no way that can stop me from going until the very top. It doesn't matter who who's wrong or who is right. Good song, but yeah. And 
And there's also the theme song called It Doesn't Matter, a different version in Sonic Adventure 2. And he goes, it, Oh, it doesn't matter. Now what happens? I will never give up the fight. Long as the voice inside just needs you run and fight. It doesn't matter who is wrong or who is right. That was uh, the hero theme of Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic's theme. You know, this credits is very unskippable to me. But yeah. After the credits, I will stop. Yeah, the musicians, Johnny Gioli, Tony, is Crush 40. Tony Harnell and Ted Poley play It Doesn't Matter. The theme song of Sonic. Yeah, Junichi Kanemaru did the voice of Sonic. The Japanese voice of Sonic. But yeah. Yes, Steve Brody did the voice of Tikal's father. Pakamak. But yeah, we can see pictures of Sonic in, in the story. Why does Froggy have a tail? Is it because he swallowed the Chaos Emerald or something? Jeez. Yeah, I can see Takal and Sonic running into these annoying suicide badniks. This is created by Sonic Team and presented by Sega. And you can see Sonic flying with Tails. Sonic Team Sega 2003. That's Sonic Adventure DX. And you can see Sonic relaxing on the beach. Is he wearing shades? This one says Finn. And yay, we got ourselves 14 emblems. Woohoo! All right, folks. That's it. I will see you in part two. Until then.